everyone this is George from your local musician and today I wanted to do a quick tip tutorial answering a question that dropped into my inbox on Facebook it's really simple dude how do you create custom kits with ultra beat I want to answer that loud and clear right now bro google it you know it's very very easy but I don't mean to be a dick you know that's not me there's not a hint of sarcasm in there, but since I'm a nice person, I'm gonna break it down anyway and show you what's what. Mm. Now this is a beat that's still in production. I'm still messing around with it a little bit, so please don't judge me too much. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the kit that I've created um, using Ultra Beat. I'm gonna show you the kit that I created using Ultra Beat, and hopefully you can replicate what I've done and um, make something yourself in it. So basically, right, if we listen to a little bit of this beat now, and you understand where I'm coming from. and simple plenty left to do but basically how you do it is really easy so if we just get up another software track and we will do this on a separate track um, and just replicate what we've done basically so well I will instruct you on how I do it I will not paint out everything like a douche but here we go I think I have literally just loaded up the wrong instrument, sorry. No, 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 no. I've just loaded up the wrong instrument. Bear with me. Let's get into Ultra Beat. Bosh. Right, so the first thing that's going to happen is Ultra Beat will pop up and it will be on its factory default settings. And what you want to do is go down to Drum Packs. No, wrong one. Right, first thing you want to do is go down to drum kits and hit drag and drop samples and that will clear everything from the factory default settings and it'll be like a blank canvas, bro. So basically all you do now is if you get up any old kick or carefully, you know, carefully bring your kicks together carefully select them you know that's what you want to do per track so then if you saw that I'm explaining this very badly but all you do is, is you, obviously you can all you do is you can pop into your finder search for your kick or if you're nice and organized know where it is go into your folder and drag and drop bosh and that is done and you want to do repeat that process for all the sounds that you're gonna have in your kit so if I steal one of these ninth wonder stairs, stairs, stairs. If I steal one of these ninth wonder snares, it's as simple as that. If it would go top, drop that snare in there, bosh, and that's what exactly what we want to hear, isn't it? So you want to repeat that process for every sound that's going to be in your kit. So add a hi-hat, closed hat, crash, anything you want, go wild. And when you've got a finished kit, obviously what you can do is just come on down to save as and save it as a patch. And bosh, that is about as easy as anything in the world uh, uh, that is about as easy as life gets so when you've got a finished kit this is what happens or at least some excuse for a kit so I've got my kick here I've got my hat there I've got my clap I've got another hat there and that is about as extravagant as my kits get and um drawing out drums when using 
things like ultra beat and things like that obviously it's the same exact process as you would draw anything out in logic uh, but you can kind of treat it more of a as a sort of a drum pad sort of situation and that's you know what it's intended to be so bash kick you know snare kick hi hat hi hat how hat kick hi hat how hi hat hi and that is about as complicated as it gets guys and that is all I've got to say enjoy <laughs>